Good afternoon everyone. Today we have our 2008 Cobia 256 center console. It is powered with a 350 horsepower Yamaha four-stroke engine that you currently see. Boat shows very well, has a fresh coat of bottom paint. It does not come with the trailer that you see it sitting on. That is just a yard trailer. Has a factory T-top loaded with electronics. Quick boat. Or wide open the boat runs about 46 47 miles an hour and cruises all day long in the mid 30s gel coat shows well a little bit of the stickers are peeling there a little bit I guess we wanted to point out some flaws it is a used boat but uh, and if I see anything I'll point it out this is the starboard side of the hull no major dock rash or gouges, just, you know, little things like that, and right here, if you can see that. The boat has about 500 hours on it. New trim and tilt pump this year. And uh, the power head was replaced in 2000, and, and I apologize, it'll be accurate on our ad, but I believe it was 2015 or 16, and I'll make sure to double check that. We do have a receipt. It was a Yamaha factory power head uh, with the flywheel updated update included in that. This side of the hull, it's a little tight between these boats, sorry. It's hard to tell, but I'll try to show you from this angle. No major dock rash or gel coat issues on this side either. Uh, you probably have three or four coats of bottom paint on the bottom of the boat, so a little bit of scaling. Um, it'll be fine this year or next, and in the coming years you're going to want to get it sandblasted or, or uh, sanded in order to make it start over fresh again, if you even need it bottom painted. But if you're leaving it in the water, you're going to need that. Up the swim ladder off the back with an integrated um, engine platform and bracket with a nice area to stand on either side. Your fuel water separators are in here as well as your primer ball. It's actually only one fuel water separator. The boat does have a back bench seat and a leaning post or a bolster that are currently off the boat that we will be fixing. It, they're getting reupholstered. They'll be brand new. Aerated live well, right here, nice big insulated aerated live well, cutting board there, you have stainless cu cup holders, pop up cleats, flush mounted rod holders throughout the, each gunnel, as well as rocket launchers on the T-top, bolsters on both sides, big fish lockers on both port and starboard with drains. More rod holders here. You can really, little uh, bait, or I'm sorry, tackle storage here, as well as just tackle storage on both sides. Insulated fish all over here. Leaning post in good condition. The upholstery shows well. The rest of the upholstery on the boat's in good shape. Little place to lean your feet on. The boat also has Yamaha Digital Shift, fly-by-wire shifting. It is not a, uh, it, they're not cable, so that's a cool, nice upgrade uh, that, that was done by the original owner. Digital tacks, Lenco trim tabs. The boat comes with a Garmin GPS 5212 touch screen. It looks like about a 10 or 12 inch screen as well as an older Garmin GPS 540S. Everything is in good working order. AM FM radio also works. Everything on this boat works. Uh, live wells, fish boxes, raw water wash downs, all ready to rock and fish for this fall season. I think the only, oh the dome light, you have a VHF electronics box up from the top. The aluminum shows well, not too much pitting. Uh, we took a picture of the enclosure that goes around the entire T-top and leaning post. 
So that's a nice for late fall fishing, early spring fishing, or a nasty weather day. We also have spreader lights. Cobia makes a pretty solid boat. Another cool feature about the boat is it has an enclosed head with a, you can't see it because there's all the canvas and additional V-berth cushions that fill in the entire bow of the boat for additional area to lay down and stuff. Uh, it does have a pump out head and a Jabsco toilet, which is nice for the ladies or uh, even the guys. Up forward we have bow rails all the way around the boat or grab rails, that's a nice feature. Um, the forward V-berth cushions and bolsters all snap in and out. They're all here. We also have the filler cushions for the bow, so if you're taking uh, guests out or the family out for the day, you can put those in and you have a lot of seating area as well as sun bathing area for the ladies. Um, you can also take it out and take all the upholstery out if you're out fishing with the guys. So it's a cool feature. In here is more storage as well as access to a few pumps, but mostly storage. There's uh, insulated drainable coolers on both port and starboard. Doesn't have a wind, Oop, sorry about that, doesn't have the filler cushion. Doesn't have a windless anchor, but it does have twin anchors in there, and that's your anchor compartment. Um, so the behind this, the canvas is in good shape. This is just protecting it. As you can see, the canvas is in good shape. It's a shotgun seat on front of the console for one more person to sit while underway, uh, and the cover protects the canvas. Boat has a ton of storage. It's a nice deep 26. Not. It really is a well laid out boat. self bailing cockpit. We also have red canvas. I think there's red canvas for this leaning post that protects it from the sun. Um, and uh, that's a nice feature as well as, I know we have one for the leaning post. I don't know if we have it for back here, but I did see two pieces of red canvas. So we'll have to double check that. We're gonna put the boat in water and show you how she runs. Um, and thanks for watching so far. But let's go put her in the water and take her for a ride. Alright guys, that is our 2008 Cobia 256 center console powered with the 350 Yamaha four-stroke engine. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel in the bottom right-hand corner of this video for the most up-to-date listings as we post them. Please double-check our website at mdboatsales.com to ensure that uh, this boat is still available and then to check out our other inventory. If you have a question on this boat, give us a call at 443-324-1368. Thank you. See you out on the water.